And Camry and Celica. So you don't have to worry. You mm -hmm. don't have any problem with the car. You don't have to wait forever. It's not going to be a million dollars to fix it. Mm -hmm. The only tricky thing is getting in and out of that car can be kind of a pain. Especially the Elise. That's the one. The Avora is bad too because you, yeah. you have to get in and the seat sits about two feet in on the car. So you have like one feet or a one foot barrier you have to climb over to get in. Which, wow. which isn't bad. It's not, mm -hmm. a, it's not a problem. You can do it. But it's really hard to do it without looking kind of, kind of stupid climbing into the car. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the and thing then, with the Ferrari is you can kind of drop into the seat. Right? Exactly. Not, yep. not with a Lotus. You got to, mm -hmm. you got to slide into the seat. And, and, and then, and then think about when you bring your girl. You're like, oh yeah. wow. Well, yeah. That's, 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 a, that's another task. You ever, you ever watch Top Gear? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So all the early mm -hmm. ones they did the. Uh, the uh, Honda S2000 mm -hmm. against the BMW Z1 mm -hmm. and something else, and they had these girls like, yeah. all right, you're taking your girlfriend out, and they're like, she's got a skirt on, have her get into the car, and it shows them trying to get into the cars that have the big gap like the like the Avora does, yeah. and it's impossible. I mean, they're yeah. they're sliding yeah. around, yeah. they're trying yeah. to tuck themselves, like, yeah. dude, it's. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, man, those, that, that's another level with those cars, man. Them, but I mean, they're really them. meant to be driven on the track, though. So not really, you don't think nothing, say, hey, let me drive something like that on the street, let me fix it I mean, up. I would. <laughs> you would? I would. Yes. I would love, you know, I would love to pick up a, a Lotus Exige. Exige? Daily. I think they are the best looking of them. Would that be something you would build? I would love to. If I had the money, Absolutely. So okay, for a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, what would you get? A hundred thousand or less, what, what would it be? Out of anything? Mm-hmm. Anything? Honestly, dude, any, I'd anything? Probably pick up, I'd probably pick up an Evo Eight. Okay. Okay. You know, I've had, I've done the SRT4, I've mm -hmm. done Subarus. Uh, I toyed with one Evo Eight, and I had so much fun with it because it was mechanical cam timing. What about the ten? I don't. I'd want an eight. Because it's really, faster. Would, the would, eights are faster. I would want an eight because there's no there's no electronic cam timing, so you can set your timing and it's there. You don't have to fight the computer as much to make power. Mm -hmm. You can slap the big turbo. It's like the, it's like the SRT4. Mm -hmm. You slap the turbo on it. You set your cam timing. Put some cams in it, and you have some fun. That new one has all that safety equipment. Yeah. So exactly. it weighs. It, you know, it is it, 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 in a way it put it less horsepower. Hey, that's why the RS Focus is like really, really hurting the STI now. Really? Yep. 